ladies and gentlemen, the infighting we've recently seen between the left, the liberals, it just continues to go on and on and on. You see, a couple of pride parades now have been disrupted. Who could have ever seen that one coming, right? Absolutely no one. But they've been disrupted either by pro-Palestine protesters or queers <laughs> for Palestine, which is even stranger. We saw recently in Philadelphia a little altercation happen between the lovely stunning and brave brave individuals and then in Washington DC there was more of the same and it's happened once again but this time it's in Toronto however due to the protesters they eventually cancelled the pride parade <laughs> only if this happened with all of them eh? <laughs> now before we get into it and discuss the infighting going on if you could make sure to leave a like rating it's the most important thing to help the video out if you're new hit that subscribe button turn on bell notification so you never miss a video comment on this video share this video and let's continue the washington blade have reported toronto pride parade cancelled after pro-palestinian protesters disrupted it. toronto pride parade organizers on sunday cancelled the annual event after a group of pro-palestinian protesters disrupted it media reports indicate more than two dozen protesters blocked the parade near the intersection of Yonge, Yonge, and Wellesley streets. I definitely didn't get any of that right. I need to go back to school, man. I can't pronounce words these days. But they chanted from the river to the sea and pride was a riot. Man, I tell you now, I never thought I would see the day where the infighting gets this bad. But this is just what happens, as I've said in the past, when you stand for anything and everything, and then you get offended by absolutely everything. Eventually, you'll just start to offend each other. The Toronto Star reported the protesters disrupted the parade at around 5.30 p.m., more than three hours after it began. Toronto Pride, around 45 minutes later, announced the parade's cancellation. Today, we have made the decision to cancel the remainder of the Pride Parade out of our commitment to ensuring public safety safety, they said in a statement. While we deeply respect and uphold everyone's right to peacefully protest, yeah, I bet you do, our foremost priority is the well-being of all the participants and spectators. We recognize the Pride Parade as a highly anticipated event and that many organizations and individuals eagerly prepare for it added. We empathize with those who are looking forward to participating and regret any inconvenience caused by this decision. I mean, look, if you're spending all your time dedicating your life to a uh, Pride Parade, I think you might need another hobby. I I'm just saying, man. But with all the stuff we see going on at these parades, and we're going to talk about it more in just a little bit, if they're getting cancelled now due to protesters turning up and the infighting is going on, should we really complain? But the postman and all sent out these posts on X that go as follows. The pro-Palestinian protesters that brought the Toronto Pride Parade to a stop chant the genocidal from the river to the sea slogan as they continue to block the parade's path. Footage by Beth Beich. And then they post this second one. A group of nudists walk through the scene as a pro-Palestinian protesters who blocked the Toronto Pride Parade start listing their demands. Now before we get into the video footage, as you just heard me say, there were nudists at this Pride Parade before I even read that. I said we're briefly going to talk about what goes on on at these parades and it's only going to be briefly because i don't want to talk about it too much but there were nudists at this parade there are nudists at a lot of these parades so i want any leftist liberal who comes across this video as i know you do to try and explain to everybody watching right now in the comment section how somebody walking around naked where kids could be present which i don't even know how kids are allowed to attend these things but how is walking around naked got anything to do with being gay Look, I understand we don't have much time left on this earth, so I'm just going to cut to the chase here. I don't want you guys wasting your time. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it. And in fact, the stuff we're seeing now, I don't know if you guys heard about the acts that took place in San Francisco. If you saw the videos, you probably bleached your eyes. I mean, I just read a post on X explaining what took place, and that was enough for me to grab the bleach. It was enough for me to click off the app. How nobody got arrested there is beyond me. It is disgusting. I shared the tweet on my Instagram story and it explained what went on and people were replying with, what the F is this? What is going on? Nobody knows what's going on at these parades any longer. How can anybody justify it? Oh, it's about celebrating who we are. Get a grip, man. There is no justification for what goes on at these parades any longer. They're no longer about celebrating being gay, they're about people trying to get away with as much degeneracy as they can. And it's only going to get worse over time. Let's be real about that one. It's crazy what takes place there. Anyway, enough talking about that one. Let's just take a look at this parade getting disrupted. And I will have to cut the video off before the nudists walk by because I don't want this video getting taken down, which in itself just shows how wrong it is 
Take a watch. I guess, uh, welcome to Justin Trudeau's Canada. It's a great place, it really is. It's just straight out of clown world, isn't it? And what I don't understand about these pro-Palestine protesters like this is, you know, if they went to Palestine, the people, and especially Hamas, would want nothing to do with them. Queers for Palestine, if they turned up with their blue hair, crop tops, whatever, <laughs> and they said, hey guys, we're here to protest for you, they'd be gone in an instant. And you know what I mean by that. But I think we've reached the end of this video here, haven't we? Ladies and gentlemen, discussing this stuff really uh, makes you lose your brain cells, but leave your thoughts down below on what took place. What are your thoughts on pride parades getting disrupted by pro-Palestine protesters, the left eating their own? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.